It's bigger, it's better, it's brighter, and it's faster. It's a win for me, I'm sorry. Solid mind here and today we are asking the question, should you buy the Aneo KUN? I had a quick look, it's pretty pricey. It's around like eight, 900 pounds. That's UK pounds sterling. Um, so twice the price of a Steam Deck basically. Um, so is this the future of gaming? Let's find out together. This has definitely turned out to be one of my favorite handheld gaming PCs, but uh, the price is definitely up there. If you're not familiar with it, basically what we've got here is a Ryzen 7 7840U. Ryzen 7, Ryzen 7. This reminds me of the GPD Win 4 that also has a Ryzen 7, 16 gigs of RAM, 232 gig of, 232 gigs of RAM. Um, so this is already more powerful than the Steam Deck. Um, so I guess it's it's most likely going to be able to do more than the basic Steam Deck element of it. The the GPD Win Four had uh, a QWERTY keyboard. This doesn't have it, but this looks a lot more like the Lenovo um, Legion tablet and i like how here on the bottom like the steam deck it has the touch pads to control it so this is already like lower than the um, gpd win 4 but a little bit better than the steam deck in terms of where it sits but okay let's continue let's continue you an 8.4 inch display we've got dual track pads here and a 75 watt hour battery so as you can see, we basically got the Steam Deck interface here. Now I'm not running Steam OS 3 and that's because Valve hasn't officially released it. What we've got Yeah, that looks a lot like Steam I was going to say, Steam OS. But... Here is Chimera OS and I've done several videos on this. We've got everything uh... that the Steam Deck has built in and it seems that everything's working. I do get Bluetooth disconnect. Yeah. Um that is I guess one upside to not getting the steam deck is that um yes the steam deck is designed to work best with steam os uh, but there's a lot of emulators out there that emulate it i think the the biggest question here is in the actual gameplay because steam games well steam will tell you which games work best on the steam deck and they don't uh it's configured so that all the settings are able to play the majority of games that are possible to play on the Steam Deck. But having this, because it copies the Steam look, it does, it has the same touchpad, it means that this, the same controls you would have on a Steam Deck you can use on this. Yes, this costs this cost twice as much as a Steam Deck, but it means that A, it's more powerful, and B, it's basically a Steam Deck with a bigger screen and better battery on steroids, basically. So we, we, let's continue. Connecting every once in a while, but overall, it's really not that bad. We've got sound, the touch pads are working. Obviously, we've got the screen working here, all of the built-in buttons. And again, the operating system we're using is Chimera OS. Really easy to install. Uh, all of the information you need to know is over on there. Yeah, I don't really care about the OS element of it. Let's continue. battery life out of it if you're not familiar with this give you a quick rundown for the apu we've got that amd okay let's let's talk let's talk so this device is already a lot better than the gpd win 4 in terms of the specs it's a larger display at 8.4 inches unlike the chat the gpd win 4 which is six inches i keep saying chat gpd but it's gpd win Anyway, uh, the memory, four terabytes, which is a lot higher. The RAM, 64 gigabytes, which is also a lot higher. So this on every element is higher. The battery life is about the same. Um, what is the display? The display is also a lot higher. It's an IPS display. Um, so that's not too bad. This is higher than 1080p actually. So this is more around the, 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 the 2K mark. So this is already a higher, better unit. That's a little bit cheaper. Undercutting the GPD Win 4, 
but also being better in terms of specs than the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion, Asus ROG uh, Ally and Ally X. So I am impressed. I What's the nits? 500 nits. Not bad, actually. Uh, PPI 350, not bad. sRGB 90%. You're not going to be color grading on it, so it's good enough. So specs-wise, specs-wise... For the price and what you're getting, it's really good. It's bigger, it's better, it's brighter, and it's faster. It's a win for me. I'm sorry. E Ryzen 7 7840U. Up to 54 watts. We can take this down to 5 if we want to. We've got that built in. Yeah, I've gone through the specs already, big boy. I mean, this is pretty much overkill for a handheld. We do not need 64 gigabytes of RAM, but this will allow us to allocate a lot to VRAM. Yeah, uh, Unless six... we've got access. Yeah, 60. Want to. The only thing we can't do from this menu is actually adjust the TDP on this OS. We've got access to everything that the Steam Deck has. We can actually open up this performance overlay. We can set the refresh rate of the display. We can turn on system-wide FSR if we want to. The only thing we can't do from this menu is actually adjust. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that means even when you're in a game, you can still control the parameters of what you want. Other handhelds do have this in the settings where you can control the amount of max RAM you want. You want it to be automatic, but here it's more on the side where you can quickly access it overlaying on a game so in the middle of gameplay you can decide the settings you want so i guess that's a big plus for this uh handheld the tdp on this handheld because it was specifically designed for the steam Deck apu but with a little bit of tweaking you can actually do it from the bios on this handheld or you can install a third-party app something like uh, simple ryzen tdp this is really great and the fact that it works with yeah, so I think emulation on this handheld must be one of the strong points. The fact that you can emulate basically a play, no, well, emulate a version of Steam that can still run fast. I think that's why it has a Ryzen 7 and also why it needs 64 gigs of RAM. Okay, I have to stop here for a second. What handheld needs 64 gigs of RAM? You will never use that. That's overkill. But I guess, you know, this justifies the price point in a way, in terms of you can then put that into VRAM in a way. That way you can use it more in game. So this is future proofed, basically. Chimera OS is awesome. We can get right in here, set our minimum TDP, set our maximum TDP. And if you wanted to run this at 15 watts, you definitely could. But I'm going to be running this at 30 watts. Now we've got that 75 watt hour battery and uh, at 30 watts, we can actually get more runtime. Yeah, 30 watts isn't that bad. That, most games will run around uh, on the low end between 10, 15 to 20. So making it run at 30 means you'll probably be able to run the games faster um because this can run at a much you know higher voltage because you're running at a low voltage it means that the the device can last longer so this isn't bad if you're emulating or playing games that don't need that much voltage the battery life will be good that's a fact well i think that's a fact punk 2077 And this is one of those games that works absolutely amazing on these Phoenix Point APUs, but it seems like we're actually getting a little better performance here in Linux than we did in Windows, and it could be... Okay, okay, so it looks like he's running this on a Linux uh, uh, background, so chat G oh, not chat GPT, I keep saying chat GPT, it's not. So GPT Win 4 runs on Windows, whereas this is able to run on Linux as well, so I guess... Linux does not use as much power as Windows, so being having uh, access to a, a program like Linux on a handheld will basically mean that when you play games, you're not uh, digging into your RAM usage. So this means you can run games um, on much higher settings. So 
this console let's finish this let's finish this should you buy this it's around eight nine hundred pounds compared to the gpd win 4 i would say that they're pretty much on par i would still lean towards the gpd win 4 even though it costs a little bit more but because i don't like the look of it that's the main reason the controls are better on this it has a camera it has um you know uh 64 gigs of ram it's a bigger display it's it looks more ergonomic actually but if they could have made this in black i would get it leave a comment down below would you guys buy this if it was in black and had the build of a you know maybe a steam deck or a gpd win 4 because this right now it looks like a cheap device even though it costs more than some pcs anyway guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe peace